All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to week three UBC battles. Guys, this is your coach of the Shinryu Pikachus. Guys, I want to thank you for coming out. And if you're liking what I'm doing and you loving what I'm doing, smash that like button, guys. I mean, literally, smash it, crash it, flip it up, throw it down, do everything with it. This week, we are against Sir Squire and his team he is repping, I believe, is the Boston Blastoise or um, something Blastoise. I, I, I forget. Squire, I'm sorry. Charge it to me, not to my, not to my heart. Um, this was a good battle, guys. I mean, really, really good. Really down to the wire. Um, you guys are going to see a lot of few things with this battle. And uh, well, well, let's get into the commentary right now. That'll explain the most. So we're going to hit play. I start off with Excadrill. He started off with his Bush, Duck Trio. Now, I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, really, the stones was one thing. So, it was, you know, I was pretty self-explanatory. He hit me up with the stone edge. I decided to use Rapid Spin to go ahead and, you know, get rid of the, you know, stones on his side of the field. On my side of the field. And he hit me with the EQ. I thought it was going to kill it. Then I survived and I was able to get the drill one off. But he switched out into his trump. Now, at this point, pretty simple. Sableye, let's get it burnt. Cause residual damage to this thing. But he switched it out and he went into Diancy. At that point, I was like, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to get this item off him because that's going to be, it's going to be a threat. It's going to be a huge threat. But he Moonblast and it destroyed him. So now I'm already down 2 0. He's down, I mean, 2 1. Now he goes into Mega Venue. So I decide, you know what? While he's going into Mega Venue, I'm going to go ahead and sub. He goes for the Giga Drain, it kills my substitute immediately. I go for the Earth Power. I realize this thing is especially defensive and it's not doing anything, so I switch out into my Zard. He Sludge Bombs. That takes almost half my life, guys. Half my life. I didn't expect it to be that powerful. But nonetheless, I was able to get a detail off and go right back into Trump. He gets burn damage, he gets rock damage, but he U-turns and takes out my Zard X. So the battle's already looking bad. I got three Pokemon versus his five. Luckily for me, Gallade started to really change things up. Now, I made a misplay here. I could have went ahead and used Saddle Sneak and took him out. I didn't do that. I decided to switch into Quagsire, which was a big mistake. Constantly need Quagsire. With the Trick Room in play, I just said, you know, forget it. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. Now, he sends out Hillary, his Ghost type, and he will with me. At this point, my Gallade went from being a powerhouse to useless. <laughs> so... Really, I'm, I, it's one Pokemon versus his four at this point, no matter what I do. And I really didn't see a point in switching out really at this point, so he can go ahead and, you know, have an advantage. I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go down swinging. We go into Gudra. Gudra gets the burn, but in the process of getting the burn, he gives me the opportunity to go ahead and get massive damage off on him. He goes for the signal beam. It does next to nothing because my Gudra is such a tank. Gets him out of there. So that makes the score now instead of being one to four, it's one to three. Now he uses his trump bird, he uses knockoff, gets rid of my assault vest, but I go for the T bolt. Now he's already burned, he's taken life, he's looking slower. He goes for the hurricane, it misses, gives an opportunity to get him out of there. That then changes the game from being one to three to one to two. And it looks like we started to build momentum up, but unfortunately, we could not get through a flare blitz to save our lives. And he ends up taking the battle. Now guys, I wish I could tell you I had a team builder for this and that I really went all out with everything, but I really just took a, a brief glance at what he had there was a lot of things going on. It was my birthday week, um, and I know there's no excuses. And right now, the Shinryu Pikachus are 0 and 3. 0 and 3. And I'm going to try to make some trades for the next coming game. Hopefully, we can get them in time. And I am going to rethink this. If you have noticed, like I said in my other video, I am taking Shodan a little bit more seriously. The hacks are ridiculous and crazy. But nonetheless, we are a little bit better. We have a better mascot that I feel better suits me. And we are thinking our Pokemon through a little bit more thoroughly. Um, this was Glade's first battle. He did not uh, disappoint me. I disappointed him. I've disappointed all my Pokemon. And I'm going to rethink this entirely. I can assure you things are going to change, guys. But in the meantime, again, if you're liking what we're doing and you're loving what we're doing, it, hit that like button. We are down, but we are not out. We got, we, we're going into week four. We're going to try to get some trades. We're going to try to be in this thing. And we're going to try to go ahead and blow back. So people who are thinking we're down, you're making a comeback. Our battling skills are there. We just got to get 
you see this hacks generator. Excuse me. In the meantime, guys, again, peace.